So I'm here. Uh, all right, so how many of you, hands up, why there's less people? People left after the pizza? <laughs> what? <laughs> how many, oh, the camera's here. How many of you have used sour cabinetry material? More hands, more hands. What happened with the people who haven't used the sour material? Like, either as a learner, as a teacher? Okay, so most of you, okay. How many of you have another language besides English? Oh, that's even more, great. Now, the idea of pitching is not to translate sour cabinetry material, but it's to create the tools, the infrastructure behind to help translators to translate sour cabinetry material. So over the last uh, few months, since the last summer, a lot of uh, people from Latin America translated into Spanish some of the lessons. There have been two of them releases, but they are, done, they are being done manually. They are not using professional tools to translate. And by professional tools, I don't mean really complicated tools. I mean like simple things that help people to translate software, and that's a, like tools that have been there forever. So what I'm trying to do now in this hack day is to combine those things, combine a bit of a Travis magic, a git a sub modules and stuff like that and make them in a way that software company can use the infra this such infrastructure to help translators to translate the material. Now there's two lessons we can, if there's time, you can even translate some of the material. Well, we would need some kind of a stuff just to try to run the system. So the idea, what I have here is kind of a sub modules where we have we can build a dashboard where that dashboard will contain how many uh, words, not how many words, how many sentences, how many uh, sections are missing to be translated for each language. And, and then that will be a, helpful for contributors or I want to call them there like trans, uh, <laughs> not here anymore. Uh, Transcribers, <laughs> that's where I meant it, like translator contributors, to be able to know what it needs to be translated. Because at the moment, as I say, it's manually, so you have just a file and you don't know when the new file comes, the new version of the software company material comes in English, they don't know what have changed. So they have to go line by line to see what have changed. And with these tools, it will help. So if you want to join, what I need is people who know a bit of Travis, <laughs> people who know a bit of uh, Python stuff. I have done something already which helps to tokenize the files, the Markdown files, into something that can be used for this uh, translation software and test the whole thing. And that you make a pull request and it tells you like a code coverage, say, yay, you have increased the number of translation by X percent. And someone can review them and then it gets merged and it gets old and you get a nice page where you get little flags on the top and you can change from one language to another. And that's all. <laughs>